Hi guys, welcome back to the Bry Kitchen. Today we're doing our all-time South African favorite, the poikikos. Yes, and we're using shin today, a tough cut of meat, perfect for a long, slow cooking poiki. Now we're just going to put in the poiki adapter. Then we're going to put in the poiki. Nice and warm while we are cutting up the meat. Okay, we're going to just cut this up into chunks just so that we're not fighting over the meat when we dish up. Because as you can see, it's only four pieces of shin. Still quite a lot of meat there. And what we like about shin is the marrow part as well, which um, brings some, some depth to the flavors. Okay, so we're going to start with a dash of olive oil. So now that the onions are in and browning, we are ready to start preparing the next vegetables. What we're using for our hard vegetables today are potatoes and carrots. You wanna put your hard vegetables in first. We like to peel our potatoes so the sauce can penetrate into the flesh of the potato, otherwise the skin kind of holds it back. Baby potatoes are also really nice to use. Now that we've got the onions nice and brown, we're going to add our potatoes in. I'm just going to flatten them out a bit. And at this point, we need to add some form of liquid. So for liquid today, we are adding some bone broth. If you don't ha have any bone broth lying around, you can get some stock and mix it with a bit of water. The bone broth is really nice. We're also gonna add some wine. You don't wanna add too much liquid. You wanna add it just enough to cover the vegetables as you go. So we can add a bit more bone broth into there. See how thick that is. It's great stuff, this. Thanks to Cultured Beats for supplying us with that. Uh, guys, now that I've got the potatoes in there, we're gonna start with the rest of the vegetables. I'm gonna do the carrots now, but let's just talk about what else we've got here. We've got some leeks, um, some cauliflower, some mushrooms, some broccoli, and some celery. We also have some garlic, fresh garlic as well as black garlic. We have some coriander ground, some smoked paprika, some mustard powder, and some coriander leaves. 
As you've seen, we're also adding the wine and also salt and pepper to taste. We're also gonna add some chutney at the end just for a little bit of sweetness. I find that goes really well with a nice meaty poiki. So guys, while I peel these carrots, just wanna talk about the unwritten rule of poiki and that is we do not stir the poiki. Otherwise then it actually becomes a stew. And uh, we will show you that it's actually not necessary to stir the poiki. You add everything in in layers and you add your liquid slowly as you go so that you don't get an overly watery um, and wet poiki at the end. You want to get the balance of the liquid to the uh, ingredients just right. We're not adding any thickeners or any soup powders to thicken it because we don't uh, feel it needs it. We like to use the natural flavors from the ingredients we're using rather. You don't want to add plain water to your poiki either, guys. You want to add something with a bit of flavor, so a stock powder or like, you, like I mentioned earlier, a bone broth prevent you from getting a bland poiki at the end. Poiki is all about flavors. I love having leeks in my poiki, but just remember if you're adding leeks too, get down in there and clean because they tend to get dirty right down in there and you do not want to crunch your poiki. So we're gonna add our, our vegetables in in different stages uh, according to the hardness and how long they take to cook. I don't like mushy cauliflower, mushy broccoli. So those go right at the end, maybe 20 minutes before we're ready to dish up. The rest of the vegetables, like the leeks, can go a bit sooner and the celery can go in a bit sooner too. So when it comes to ingredients in your poiki, there are really no rules. You can use whatever you've got lying around in your kitchen that needs to be used. Um, but potatoes, I think in our family, yeah, potatoes are a must, carrots are a must. Um, those are our sort of stock standard vegetables we use, but then we go to whatever else we've got lying around. Today we had some broccoli, some cauliflower and some mushrooms as well as celery. So we are using that. But like I said, it's your poiki. You need to put in what suits your palate. So if you can get hold of some black garlic, guys, highly recommended in your poiki. Um, it adds umami to the dish and really packs a, a wonderful flavor punch. We're just gonna cut it up a little bit so that everyone can get a piece because trust me, when you get this on your fork, you really can taste it. Black garlic is garlic that has been slow roasted over a few days until everything caramelizes. You can eat these cloves on their own and they taste amazing. But trust me guys, if you can get this, not all shops have it, your family will love you. Then our regular garlic, we're just gonna Crunch that up. So guys, one of the most important things to master when making a poiki is your temperature control. And that is why we love using the Komodo, because the Komodo makes this process extremely simple. It's simply a case of adjusting your top and bottom vent and it's done. You don't have to worry about adjusting your fire or moving coals in and out. And as you can see, you get a nice gentle simmer. It's not boiling too fast. And the chances of burning it are extremely low. We're now gonna add in our spices. Two types of garlic. and our leeks. And remember, we're not gonna stir it, so all we're gonna do is just push it around. And let it sit into the liquid a bit. We can add a bit more. 
just to bring the, the level of the liquid to the top of the vegetables. Lid back on, time for another beer. So guys, the poiki has been on the go for about two and a half hours. Uh, we're gonna add our next round of vegetables, which is gonna be our corn and our celery. And we're gonna add the mushrooms as well. Can you open up there for me, please, Tommy? Oh, if you guys wanna get have a, look, have a look at that, bring the camera over there. That is amazing. I can tell you now, I can smell the black garlic and uh, the heartiness is coming into my nose and it's wonderful. Let's get these in. So we're just gonna push it down a bit and I think we can add a little bit more liquid at this stage. I agree. The rest of the wine. And we might add a bit more of the bone broth just to bring it up. But we're also gonna take this opportunity to add some lovely chutney, South African favorite. This is this. HS Balls. We're just gonna bring out more flavors. Add some sweetness to it. Okay. Okay guys, so we've got 15 minutes left of cooking time. We're gonna put in the salt veggies. So let's do that. Yeah. Smells like a proper, proper poiki. Let's get it nice and even. I cannot wait to taste this. I'll be dead honest, I cannot wait. So guys, it's time to dish up. This looks absolutely amazing. Have a look at that. Show you what the veggies look like. Those potatoes are soft. Come there, Tommy. Let's get some, and, uh, some yeah. sauce. Can we have some sauce, please? Yes. Go, look at that. Oh, this looks phenomenal. Grab that one for you as well. It's the meat. Running away. And the meat looks absolutely tender mm. and perfectly cooked. So mm. let's have a taste. Hey guys, this came out perfect. We're going to have a taste and then we're going to go feed the family. Cheers.